Livia Bizo brings us more from Nairobi. It's been a roller coaster of a year for Kenya's president, William Ruto. Throughout his election campaign, he promised to revive the economy and make life easier for the country's poorest. He became known as a hustler in chief and talked a lot about his humble beginnings, selling chickens by the roadside, for example. But since coming to power, he's increased taxes and prices have soared. And as a result, many Kenyans are struggling to make ends meet. In July, he introduced a finance bill into law and that bill introduced even more taxes. Um, many oppose that act. They say that it was unconstitutional and are trying to block it in the courts. Now, the head of the opposition, Rayla Odinga, has, of course, been hugely critical of William Ruto and his policies. In March, he called on Kenyans to take to the streets, but those demonstrations quickly turned violent. In the five months of protests, around 30 Kenyans were killed. But it's not all gloom and doom. Ruto has brought some uh, good to the country. His supporters, for example, say that he's improved access to internet and that he's really pushed for more digitalization. And while his um, uh, reputation in Kenya may have suffered over the past year, on the global scene, he's seen as a key figure. Just last week, he hosted the Africa uh, Climate Summit, where he was able to put forward the country's climate agenda, which centres around renewable energy. Uh, he's also seen as a dependable, a dependable partner by uh, Western nations, and he's taken a strong stand, for example, against Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Now, a local survey published on Wednesday shows that 49% of Kenyans are confident that the country is headed in the right direction, and that only 36% of the population are very concerned about the country's future.